In this chapter, we're going to discuss a very simple process, how to enter and run programs in Python. We're going to do it in this lesson for Windows environment, and then in the next lesson on the Mac. These are very short lessons just to demonstrate exactly what you have to do to type in a Python program and then get it to run. Now, we haven't learned much Python programming yet. In fact, we haven't learned any Python programming. So we're going to keep it simple, and we're going to do the classic Hello World program. So all this program is going to do is display the phrase Hello World to the screen. So the first thing you need to do is bring up a command prompt window. I'll be doing all my work in the command prompt. So if you're not comfortable with that, spend a little bit of extra time learning to get comfortable with the command prompt. So when you open a command prompt window, it'll take you to your user's username subdirectory. I've already changed directories to documents. Let me go back and show you what that looks like, just in case you've never seen it before. So when you open a command prompt window in Windows, you see this. Then you type CD documents to take you to your documents folder. I'm showing you that because I'm going to show you in a minute how to write Python programs from inside this directory. We're actually going to create another directory. But first, we're going to see how to do it from the Python directory. So we're going to change to Python. So you type CD backslash Python 3.0, and that takes you to the Python 3.0 subdirectory. So we clear the screen, and we're going to type notepad hello world.py. Now it's very important that you add the .py extension because that's how the Python interpreter knows that the file you're trying to load and run is a Python program. It's by having that .py extension. So enter that, and that will bring up this window. Now I already have it here, so I'm going to erase it and write it again, although that's really not the point of this lesson. We'll be learning all about these commands later. So we want to print hello world to the screen. So we type print and then an open parenthesis. Print is a function and requires parentheses. Then we can either use a double quote or a single quote. We'll use double quotes this time. And then so we surround the phrase hello world in quotes. And then add a second parenthesis to close the print function argument. And that's it. That's the whole program. So click file exit. And then it'll ask you to save, and you click yes, or save. And that takes us back to the command prompt window. We can type python hello world.py, and then that will display hello world on the screen. Or, because the operating system recognizes py extensions as Python programs, you can just type hello world.py, and it will automatically run the Python interpreter. So that's how you run a program or script from the command line. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to go back to your documents folder. So type cd backslash users backslash your username backslash documents. And then we're going to create a subdirectory. Mine already exists, but just type md python. Then you can change into the Python directory. And now you have a subdirectory for your Python programs in your documents folder, which is often a handy place to keep everything. You might have a backup program that looks in your documents folder to back things up or whatever reason. It's just convenient to have programs like this in your documents folder. So now we can go through the same process again. And again, I've already done it, so here's my program. Don't need a semicolon. Then click File, Exit, Save. And then once again, hello world.py. And we can do that because the Python subdirectory link to the interpreter is in our system path. If I type the path statement right here, if you scroll way down or look way down, you'll see C colon backslash Python 3.0. I also have an older Python subdirectory in my path. And that's how I can find it. You could also type the long way Python hello world.py and get the same result. So, in a nutshell, that's how you enter and run programs in Python. We'll be doing this quite a bit more throughout the course, so you'll get very, very familiar with it. But it's always nice to see at the beginning exactly how to get a program running. So I've shown you how to do it from the Python subdirectory and by creating a Python directory in your documents folder. Either way is fine with me. I will probably work now from this user's M. McMillan documents Python directory just so I can keep all my scripts in one easy-to-find place. 
So that wraps up this lesson. And the next lesson is on how to run programs in the Mac environment. If you don't have a Mac, you can skip on to the exercise. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next lesson on working with a Mac.